What's up my freeze drying friends? I am using my freeze dryer today. So I wanted to take you along with me and show you what I'm going to do. So my kids elementary school has a fall carnival coming up this weekend that my kids are super excited for. At this carnival, they have a raffle and they use things donated from the community in this raffle for people to then buy raffle tickets and then put in buckets for each item that they want to hopefully win. And then a ticket is chosen for each item and whoever has the ticket wins the prize. A normal raffle that we all have probably been to before. So I offered to donate a basket full of freeze dried candy goodies as part of this raffle. The PTO was very excited <laughs> about this and so am I. I've got lots of candy and that's something I know all the kids have loved when we have shared our freeze dried candy. And so that would be a fun item to have in the raffle. I needed to make some new candies to stick in our raffle basket. And then I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna box it up and present it for the raffle price. So first things first, I need to get some candy going in the freeze dryer. There are a few things that I want to include in the basket that I do not have available on my shelf. So I am going to do high chews. I am out of high chews and this is always popular. And let's see, what else? I'm gonna do a tray of Nerds gummy clusters. These are one of my all time favorites. And I don't have any of these, so we're gonna do a tray of those to include. And then my husband's favorite, another favorite of mine, we're gonna do a tray of Big Hunks. I think that's all I need to do in this run because I'm gonna put Skittles in the basket. I've already got a few bags of Skittles. Um, I've got Jolly Ranchers. I'm gonna do candy corn and caramel apple suckers, saltwater taffy, and I think That'll be good. I will show you how I get my machine into candy mode. I hit, uh, did you see that? I hit customize and then, okay, I'm so sorry with the glare. I increase the dry temp to 150. I'm gonna do this for four hours. These two, um, sections on the top, you can ignore those. When you use candy mode on your machine, it will skip freezing and extra freeze dry time. So you can zero it out if you want to, but you don't have to. And then I'm just gonna hit save, start, and it'll tell you that you're in high temperature mode at the top. And then after the 15 minutes, it'll there's a little button that you press to ensure that candy mode is going. And I will show you that when we get there. Next, I gotta get the candies onto the trays. Here is all of our yummy candy. It looks so good. Everything is ready to go into the freeze dryer. Over here on my screen, there's a little red toggle button that says off. You just click that to on and it'll turn green and it says candy process. That's how you know you're in candy mode. I'm gonna load up the trays, close my drain valve, and then we'll go from there. The freeze dryer after you hit continue will ask if you want to warm the trays. I said yes and I just did it for three extra minutes. Um, if your candies have chocolate in them, I skip warming the trays because that just melts the chocolate and makes it kind of messy. If I'm using things that are like gummies or hard candy, I usually warm the trays. So I just chose three minutes. Uh, no real rhyme or reason. That's just what I picked. <laughs> so it's going to warm the trays and it'll turn on the vacuum pump and get to freeze drying. I want to let you know, coming in November, Harvest Dry is doing a big sale. They are doing Black Friday all month long for the month of November. If you are ready to purchase a freeze dryer, I would wait until November. I will announce what the sale is when they announce it. They say it's going to be their biggest sale they've offered on the new Harvest Strike Pro freeze dryer. So that's exciting. 
If you have been waiting for a good deal to purchase a freeze dryer, November is gonna be your month. And I have an affiliate link down in my video description below. When you purchase through my link, I will send you my cute magnet that I designed. Let me show you. It says I'd freeze dry that. That's my favorite little saying when it comes to freeze drying. It's just a cute little magnet that you can stick to a fridge or anything magnetic. And uh, not, I send a little goodie bag along with that um, just as a thank you for using my affiliate link and supporting me and my channel here at DIY Freeze Dry. Y'all are the best. I know I talk about the weather too much, but that's kind of one of the only things you talk about living in Alaska. It has been sunny and beautiful for like the last few days. It's been amazing. Last year, we definitely had some snowy days. We've had one snowy day, like a couple weeks ago where it snowed all day long, heavy snow, but it melted and it's gone. We are not showing any snow in the forecast through Halloween which is something we've been saying all summer. Like if we can get through Halloween with no snow, we will be happy. So that's great. It just makes for trick or treating so much easier to not be trudging through wet snow. I mean, the weather can change at any moment's notice, like literally minute by minute. If you look at the weather app on your phone, it changes. So I am just praying and crossing my fingers that it holds out until after Halloween. If not, we will make do, it'll be fine. It's still chilly, like in the 30s, but we can handle that. It's all good. Um, okay, freeze dryer's going. After four hours, we will unpack it, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna box it up to make it into a cute little gift basket for our school's raffle giveaway. See you in a bit. Okay, it has been four hours and our candy is ready to come out of the freeze dryer. Let's see how these turned out. Everything looks so good. Here's the big hunk. <laughs> Look how big this one puffed up. I am dying at that guy. The Nerds Clusters all turned out so good and so did the high chews. They definitely puff up and just become melt in your mouth delicious. So I'm gonna work on getting this candy bagged up and then once I am done with that tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how I put together the basket, everything that I put in it and do the big final reveal. It's not gonna be anything amazing. I'm not the most crafty person in the world, but it'll be cute. Here's what I ended up with. I got three bags of high chew two bags of Nerds Clusters, two bags of Big Hunk, and one bag of high chew that still needs more added to it. So I just gotta heat seal these up, get my labels on them, and then they'll be ready to go. I'm not using all of those in the gift basket, but I'm gonna use one or two of each kind. We will see how many fits in my little basket that I got. And so, I think it's time for bed. I'm always freeze drying late at night and then like, having to go to bed but that's sometimes the only you know when i get around to it i will catch you guys tomorrow and we will put the basket together and see how it turns out good night my friends welcome back it's the next day what do you see we put together this basket okay let me show you the basket i got this i just purchased at walmart i think it was like seven bucks but i thought it was the perfect size to hold some freeze dried candy. And I think it's gonna look really cute. I also got this little pom pom garland to like decorate the outside of the basket. I thought that would be cute on there. I'm gonna line the bottom of the basket with some of this shredded crinkle paper, which I'm hoping doesn't fall out of the edges too bad. I don't think it will. Uh, just to give it a nice little base of something for the candy to sit on. And in about one minute's time, we've got a cute little basket. I think it turned out cute. Uh, let's hope I don't drop it. <laughs> 
But I think the, well, I hope that's kind of even. I think the pom-pom garland turned out adorable. Um, yeah. So the only thing that I have left to do that I'm not going to do on camera is I'm going to print out a label that explains everything that's in here. Explain that some of the items have peanuts for peanut allergies and put my cottage food label thing that just discloses that it's not made in a commercial kitchen and stuff like that. That's just stuff that's required for when you are selling foods locally um, with the type of business license that I have. So each state has different laws and rules that you need to look up and follow. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna have. And it's also gonna have contact information for if people want to order candy from me, they can do so. But I think it turned out cute. Let me know. You can see it's a beautiful sunny day out here today. Absolutely gorgeous. It is very chilly. You can see in our grass, there is ice and frost all over. It stays pretty shaded back here. So you can tell it's definitely freezing at night, but during the day, it hasn't been too bad. I mean, it's definitely chilly, but it's gorgeous and sunny and we are happy about that. If you have any questions about making freeze dried candy or anything, drop them down in the comments below. Happy to help you wherever I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. You can see all the things that I freeze dry around here. It's not only candy. I do a lot of candy, but I also freeze dry food and all. I use my freeze dryer to its fullest. And I just love sharing all the things that I do. I, by all means, am not a professional, but learning as I go. I absolutely love freeze drying. I think it's super important and is such a great thing to have. And on that note, I will catch you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.